United States Navy is conducting an extensive review of the development of its next-generation railgun, a technology widely regarded as capable of reshaping the future of naval warfare. This assessment highlights the weapon's potential capabilities and how its deployment could shift the balance of maritime power. A central question emerges from the discussion. What if the U.S. Navy succeeds in perfecting a weapon system capable of launching projectiles at seven times the speed of sound without using gunpowder? The railgun under development is seen not as a mere upgrade, but as a transformative step that could redefine the concept of combat superiority at sea. This advancement is also considered a turning point in global military strategy. An extremely high-velocity weapon of this kind may alter the way navies engage in battle and challenge the long-standing doctrines of sea control. If successfully operationalized, the innovation is expected to become a decisive factor in maritime power competition for decades to come. A new era of energy-based weaponry is now on the verge of deployment. Imagine a system capable of propelling projectiles to Mach 7 and striking targets hundreds of miles away within minutes, without using any explosives. This is the concept now taking shape through the U.S. Navy's railgun technology, an innovation once confined to science fiction, but now steadily moving toward real-world application. This electromagnetic weapon represents a monumental leap in the field of artillery. By relying on electrical energy to generate extreme propulsion, the railgun delivers devastating impact while offering far more cost-efficient shots. Its ability to eliminate the need for chemical propellants is rendering traditional technologies increasingly obsolete. Analysts believe this system will drive sweeping changes in naval combat tactics. Future warships will no longer rely solely on missiles or conventional guns, but on hypersonic weapons offering greater range, enhanced accuracy, and strike power that adversaries will struggle to counter. This shift is viewed as the opening phase of a new competition, one defined by the mastery of electromagnetic force. Unlike traditional artillery that depends on chemical explosions, the railgun uses electromagnetic force to fire projectiles at extreme velocities. This mechanism not only removes the need for large quantities of gunpowder, but also reduces the risk of additional damage caused by heat and pressure from combustion. This new approach unlocks firing capabilities far beyond today's standards. A railgun can send projectiles at hypersonic speeds, reaching targets previously unattainable for conventional naval guns. Each shot is essentially a precision strike powered by pure kinetic energy, delivering massive destructive force even without an explosive warhead. However, significant technical challenges remain. The system requires an immense power supply, forcing future warships to feature advanced generators and highly sophisticated energy management systems. Moreover, the extreme acceleration demands specialized materials capable of withstanding enormous heat, friction, and repeated mechanical stress. Engineers are also working to reduce the system's overall size so it can be integrated onto modern naval platforms without compromising stability or critical ship space. This marks a long journey toward full railgun implementation, an intricate blend of technological ambition, advanced materials, science, and next-generation warship design. The arrival of the railgun is seen as a strategic turning point in modern naval operations. With its ability to strike distant targets at hypersonic speeds, this technology reshapes both the tactical and strategic calculations that have defined global navies for decades. Its combination of lethality, precision, 
and energy efficiency makes the railgun a formidable offensive and defensive asset. Analysts envision a future in which warships no longer need to close in on enemy formations to deliver meaningful firepower. With a railgun, a single ship can carry out surface or land attack missions from a safe distance beyond the reach of enemy weapons. This advantage provides a significant strategic margin, enabling fleets to maintain dominance without risking close-range confrontation. On the defensive side, the technology offers groundbreaking potential. The railgun's extremely high projectile speed makes it a promising candidate as a new layer in missile defense systems. With faster response times and a more stable firing trajectory, it could potentially intercept hypersonic threats, one of the most difficult challenges facing modern defense networks. If successfully integrated, the railgun could reinforce a Navy's maritime superiority and push other nations into a new arms race centered on energy weapons and hypersonic technologies. The emergence of the railgun within the U.S. fleet could open a new chapter in modern weapons competition. A hypersonic electromagnetic weapon of this magnitude is significant enough to compel major global powers to reassess their defense strategies. Should the United States fully mature this technology, the resulting maritime advantage could accelerate similar research efforts worldwide. China and Russia, two naval powers expanding their global influence, are expected to respond most seriously. Beijing has long invested in directed energy systems and high-velocity projectiles, while Moscow is known for aggressively pursuing non-traditional weapons platforms. The introduction of an operational U.S. railgun may push both nations to speed up testing, increase budgets, or seek technological shortcuts to maintain strategic parity. This development also carries direct implications for already sensitive regions, such as the South China Sea, the Black Sea, and the Arctic. Long-range, high-precision strike capability could reshape risk calculations for any nation involved in maritime disputes. Those who master the technology will have a stronger bargaining position, both diplomatically and militarily. The geopolitical ripple effects could extend far beyond contested waters. Such an advanced capability may influence alliances, naval modernization strategies, and evolving defense policies that increasingly prioritize energy, speed, and long-range response. In the context of great power competition, the railgun represents more than a technical breakthrough. It symbolizes a shift in the global maritime landscape. <laughs>